Meteorologist Lauren Casey's in the Weather Center and Lauren a lot to talk about tonight as we head into the holiday weekend. Yeah, a lot going on and we know temperatures are definitely cold enough to support snow. Temperatures in Philadelphia have been sub freezing for more than 72 hours right now and at times well below freezing like at present 22 degrees in Philly, 16 in Allentown. We're at five in Mount Pocono. Then we have a little bit of a breeze kicking. So our feels like temperature seven below in the Pocono, seven above in Allentown, feeling like 12 in in Philly and feeling like nine degrees right now in Trenton and we're going to keep around this cold Arctic frigid air as we head into our New Year's holiday as well. So if you're heading out to enjoy some fireworks, you are going to need to be seriously bundled up biting cold by 6 p.m. 19 degrees around midnight 13 degrees. But with this northwesterly wind up around 10 to 15, it will be feeling more like zero potentially down to about five below when we ring in 2018. All is quiet right now as we get a live look at Center City, Philadelphia. Got that 22 degree reading right now. Northwesterly winds at around nine feeling more like 12. And yes, we are going to add some snow in about 12 hours. Could start to see some flakes flying with this clipper system upwind right now, moving through parts of the lower Midwest. It will arrive for us as we head into our Saturday. So travel conditions for tonight looking good. We stay dry, very cold, but then steady light snow for a good chunk of our daytime hours tomorrow. And then looking good once again as we head into Sunday. Although, of course, we could still see some slick spots because none of that snow is going to melt anytime soon. So what to expect? Clipper systems are known for being fast moving systems. They don't have a whole lot of moisture, but we will get a quick hit of some accumulating snow. Steady snow developing, I think, for most across the Delaware Valley by about 8 o'clock in the morning. Then the steady snow starting to wrap up by about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but we still could see some lingering snow showers into the evening hours as well, and that will contribute to some poor driving conditions, of course, with these cold, cold temperatures. So we'll talk more about the snowfall, how much will accumulate, and potentially our coldest or second coldest New Year's Day on record ever. And I'll have all the fun details coming up in just a few, Jess. It's a lot of record setting, Lauren. Thanks so <laughs> yeah. much.